You like to see Ace being vulnerable? Well, this video is for you. Um, you know, last two and a half years, I've been in what I would call the spiritual wilderness. And really, really tough. And when you're in this thing called the spiritual wilderness, you feel totally alone. And I know for the people that know me, H, you know a ton of people. What do you mean? Spiritual wilderness. You know everybody. But just because you know a lot of people does not mean that you deal with a lot of people. Because I don't deal with a lot of people. You know, I operate my different businesses. I do what I have to do. I would say 95% of my conversations are business related. And the interactions that I have with most people is about me pouring into them. I'm always in a situation where I'm helping, I'm solving, I'm giving, I'm pouring in. But what you don't see is the life of Ace behind the scenes. You don't see me at, at home by myself. You don't see the fact that I isolate myself. And it's not that I can't hang out. Trust me, I can hang out every day of the week if I wanted to. But in the last couple years, the universe put me in this isolated situation so that I could strengthen some different aspects that are pertaining to my soul. It is very lonely, very lonely. But as I came out of it, what started to happen was I developed another muscle. I developed some muscles within my energetic system that allowed me to fully embrace all of the different aspects of myself. So a number of things that I was depending on other people to provide for me, to fill a void, to bring about comfort and to pamper me, those pillars and those muscles within my energetic system, they all got strengthened. And then I can remember I reached a pinnacle point while in the wilderness and I said, I got it. I got it. And that happened in 2023 where it, it kind of dust kind of settled and I could see and feel why they put me through this Navy SEALs boot camp, so to speak, for the soul. And to go through that journey, I had to isolate myself. I had to detach. Um, I was not in a relationship. You know, um, I spent a lot of lonely, um, isolated hours with myself. I was forced to look within, look within and look at the mirror of my soul. I was forced to do more reading, contemplating, meditating, um, thinking, speaking, and being in silence. And all of that strengthened um, the many different aspects of myself. So if you find yourself in a situation where friends are leaving, people aren't communicating with you, um, you find yourself with more lonely moments, you find yourself by yourself on a lot of Friday evenings, Saturday, all throughout the day, um, Sunday. Um, understand you're just going through this spiritual wilderness and it's designed to strengthen your spirit, to strengthen your soul. And people, I promise you, you will get to a point where you recognize that all you ever needed was you. You recognize it. And it is one of the most liberating feelings I've ever had in my life, understanding that I could be self-reliant. And if I choose to participate in ABCD, if I choose to participate with someone in my life, then it is a choice that I walk into knowing that I'm whole, I'm no longer dependent on any of the attachments that are designed uh, to be illusions, to fill uh, some of the empty voids that we walk around with. So don't despair, okay? Um, when you're going through the wilderness, accept it for what it is. You know, it's, 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 it's kind of interesting because I'm here being able to narrate this to you now, but trust me, <laughs> the last two and a half years of my life, 
up and down roller coaster, emotional wreck, um, mentally destituted. And most people that deal with me, when they didn't see that side of it because when I'm operating with people, I'm locked in and focused on them, helping them, pouring into them, um, escalating and elevating the business. But as I detach from that and I'm forced to deal with myself, that is when a lot of sleepless nights, tossing and turning, contemplating, putting the pieces together. But I also developed and recognized who my best friend was, and that was me. I recognized who really loved me, and that was my higher self. And in doing that, I found a new relationship, a renewed relationship with myself that I now cherish. I can now be like, Ace, what's up, baby? Okay, I now feel my vibration. I feel my frequency. So the inner awareness of what's going on with me has been heightened because of the journey through the spiritual wellness, wilderness. So don't despair if you find yourself in that situation and drop some comments if you have went through a spiritual wilderness of your life or you feel you're in it now. I want to let you know it, you're, you won't be there forever and you will come out much better and you will get your badge of liberation. And it is an, and it's an exceptional feeling that you'll be able to continue to carry with you for the rest of your life. Love and respect. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.